what's up i'm troubleshoot welcome back to another video in this quick guide i'll show you how to reset settings for hogwarts legacy or even change your options while you don't have the game open if you enable ray tracing and your game doesn't start or something along those lines this is a very easy fix in order to reset your graphic settings or customize them outside of the game without needing it open in the first place the easiest way to get here is press start and r at the same time to bring up the run dialog type in percentage local app data percentage backslash hogwarts space legacy and hit enter alternatively just percentage local app data percentage and find the hogwarts legacy folder then we'll open saved config and windows no editor now assuming you don't see any of these files here or you couldn't even get your way into the local app data folder on windows 11 click the three dots up here then select options and in the folder options under view scroll down a little bit and make sure that hide extensions for known file types is unticked and show hidden files folders and drives is also ticked under hidden files and folders click ok on windows 10 you'll find this under the view tab at the very top when you've enabled hidden files you should be able to see all of these here i'll sort the windows no editor files by date and as you'll see near the very top is game user settings this is where all of your game options are stored we can open this with a normal text editor such as notepad and we can customize the options without needing to start our game for example here are enable ray tracing shadows reflections and ambient occlusion all set to false alternatively you could set them to true just make sure you keep capitalization spacing and the rest the same you can scroll through this file and customize pretty much everything about the game's options and even push them further than allowed by the in-game gy down here we have resolution size x and y and the last confirmed size if you're going to be changing to 1920 by 1080 for example you'll want to change both of these obviously if the game doesn't start up properly or it looks weird you can always come back here and change these options to whatever you last prefer let's say you just want to reset it what can we do well either rename this file from game user settings to game user settings one and the next time you fire up the game your options will be reset or delete the file outright for example i've just renamed it here which is pretty much the same as deleting it the game can't find it so it'll need to recreate it and when I fire up the game here you'll see very shortly we get a brand new game user settings INI file scrolling down in here you can see it's reset back to 1280 by 720 which is pretty much the default everything here is the way it should be now I did rename that file it's still here this time at the very bottom all of these files were replaced when I fired up the game as far as I understand Steam put these back here so if you'd like Steam to not replace the file simply make your customizations the way you choose then right click game user settings dot ini hit properties and head across to the general tab where at the very bottom we'll find read only take this click apply okay and the next time steam tries to overwrite this file or options try to reset in game it won't be able to change them in the settings file do note that if you do enable read only mode and customize your options in game when you restart the game your settings will be back to where they were before in the state that they were locked in you'll need to unlock that file change your settings and lock it again if you choose to keep it locked anyways that's really about it for this super quick guide hopefully you found this useful my name's been taken over here for troubleshoot and i'll see you all next time ciao